Serbian President Tomislav Nikolic has sent a message to Croatian President Kolinda Grabar-Kitarovic in which he strongly condemns the burning of the Croatian flag in Belgrade by Serbian war criminal Vojislav Šešel. Grabar-Kitarovic responded that as presidents they have a particular responsibility regarding the atmosphere of the two countries' relations. Reactions continue to come in after insulting statements made by Serbian Labour Minister Aleksandar Vulin regarding the Croatian state and retired General Ante Gotovina. Croatian MEP Andrei Plenković said that if Serbia wishes to be a credible candidate for EU membership, the Serbian government must react immediately to Vulin's outbursts. According to unofficial sources, the binding offer for the purchase of a 54% stake in the Zagreb Immunology Institute submitted by the Vizia Croatica company will be greenlighted by the Commission analyzing their bid. Their analysis is expected to be before government as early as next week when it will approve Vizia Croatica's purchase of the shares. After the borrower's advocacy group Franak abandoned negotiations with government and bank representatives regarding Swiss franc denominated loans, the banks have offered to convert the loans from francs to euro. Franak has rejected the proposal, insisting that their loans be converted to kuna at the rate of exchange on the day the loan was approved. Monthly rates for loans pegged to the Swiss franc have skyrocketed after surges in the Swiss currency. Catholics in Croatia are observing Good Friday today. The faithful on the island of Hvar held the Follow the Cross procession last night. The procession, which has been taking place for almost 500 years, started on Maundy Thursday and ended this morning on Good Friday. The procession is 25 kilometers long, lasts eight hours, and is on UNESCO's list of intangible cultural heritage. Taking a quick look at sports in the playoffs of the regional water polo league. Rijeka's Primorje edged Mladost of Zagreb 11-10 in the first semi-final yesterday, while Jugov Dubrovnik hammered Serbian side Radnički 10-4 in the other semi-final. Primorje and Jug will play in the final at 8.30 tonight. Predominantly sunny this afternoon with some moderate cloud cover in the interior. Dalmatia will see a strong to gale force northeasterly, while the northern coast will see a northeasterly dying down and shifting to a westerly and southwesterly. Highs will be between 8 to 13 degrees Celsius inland, 13 to 17 on the Adriatic. Increased cloud cover tomorrow with light rain in Goski Kotar and Lika by midday. Heavier showers by the evening and snow at higher elevations. Predominantly overcast on Sunday with intermittent rain, especially in Goski Kotar where there will be some freezing rain and snow. There will be a strong northeasterly bringing with it colder temperatures. Overcast on the coast tomorrow, with rain starting in the north and spreading to the rest of the Adriatic by evening. Predominantly dry on the northern coast on Sunday, while Dalmatia will see overcast skies and rain. There will be a strong to gale-forced northerly and northeasterly wind.